Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this is a celebration in a sense. This is the January 2017 BAM Box, but it's their anniversary theme, which is great. It means the BAM Box is a year old. Very cool. Big ups to BAM Box, as Ali G would have said. Does anyone even remember Ali G anymore? Sasha Baron Cohen, the Ali G show? No? Okay, it was funny, but big ups, because he used to say that. But awesome for Bambox for becoming one year old, uh, and that's why this is their anniversary theme. Um, I plan to stick with Bambox as far as I know. Uh, they, they have had nothing but great service for me when I've needed customer service. But also, I've really enjoyed the boxes overall. I've only been around for four of them thus far, but I like what I've seen. Um, barring the November 2016 one was kind of, you know, there was a lot going on around that one that people weren't really liking and the value wasn't there and stuff like that. But I was thinking about it and I was like, even that box, which was their worst box by far, I still really liked the pin and I still really liked the art print. So it still had really good stuff going for it, even though overall it wasn't the best. So kind of proves that like even when Bambox isn't at its best, it's still pretty good. So, you know, it just makes me excited. The other thing, this is my favorite box because it, it's things that I really like. The pins are outstanding. The art prints are also outstanding. And the signed items are always an awesome plus. So that is why BAM Box is my go-to box. And I always get so excited for it because it's so cool. So at any rate, let's, let's start getting into this. Although I will say my last thing before we get into it. I know what one of the items is going to be because they were actually promoting it big time uh, to help sell the box. Uh, and... I didn't really like that, but I understood why they did it. Uh, but also, I knew that I'd be getting something that I really like. Because the item that's in there is something that they had done before, but I missed out on because I was not yet a Bambox subscriber. So, I'm excited. I'm very happy that it's in here because I missed out on something that I wanted. So, now I'm going to get it. So, awesome. Let's get into the Bambox then. And, of course, I'm going to use, to open it up, the weapon letter opener that was sent in December's BAM box, so thank you for that, BAM box. I do really like this thing, and it's a good way to open stuff. Cut away from yourself, always cut away. I almost cut towards myself, you don't want to do that. Cut away, cut away. Here we go. Let me check this. Oh, the thing, oh, there's no tissue paper. Oh no, my cat's gonna be so sad. She looks forward to the tissue paper. Oh, that's fine, oh well. So the first thing I have is the thing that I knew about would be in here, and it is this. It is a Jason Voorhees mask, and it is signed by none other than Ari Lehman, the very first person to play Jason Voorhees. So that's cool. With a nice blood smear on there. That's cool. I wonder if that's a variant or if everyone's had like the hand blood smear on it. That's really cool though, and you can see the the signature up on the top from Ari Lehman. Uh, this will go really well with, with the uh, the signed Ari Lehman license plate that I got from their expansion pack uh, that was for our October 2016. But this is item I already knew was coming. I didn't know what it would look like though. Uh, looks good. I like I like the I like that little bit. The the bloody handprint is is a really nice touch to it. So even cooler than I thought it would be. So I like it. I like it a lot. Also, I'm a hockey fan. So old school hockey, hockey style mask is very nice. Very cool. Love the item. Knew it was coming, but didn't know what it would look like. Very cool. There's a little... Oh, is this a certificate of authenticity for it, I guess? Certificate of authenticity. It's just like randomly in there, I think. Eh, I guess it's supposed to be with that. Makes sense. All good. Oh, I feel the pin. God, I love the pins. Please let it be something awesome. Oh, very cool. Okay. Well, this is good. It's, um, I'm just going to take it out immediately because I don't need to keep it in this. Because I have a cork board, I take it out, of, um, take these off, I put it on a cork board. I just have all my pins on a cool display cork board. So what I got was a pin that says Strange. And it's got the very recognizable hat from Toothless, the character Toothless from Stranger Things. And that's a very appropriate pin because I know they had some items from Stranger Things. I think it was their September 2016 box. They had a signed hat um, by Gaetano Matarazzo, I think his name name is, uh, who played Toothless in the show. 
So, good callback. Uh, it's a cool pin because it's a reference straight to Stranger Things. I like that pin. It's a nice pin. They're always such quality. I love those friggin' pins. Alright, next thing. Oh, what the, what the hell? Another license plate? California Knight. Is it Knight Rider? Knight? As in Knight Rider? Like, Kit? The car? And Knight Rider? David Hasselhoff Knight Rider? I'm wondering if that's what the, this is all about. There you go. It's a license plate. Okay. Sure. I'll have to figure out what this means, though. I'm kind of like, eh, I don't understand. But I guess I have to kind of, as it's anniversary, it's stuff from other boxes. So that'll have to let me know because I don't know all the boxes. Next thing. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. This is, this is fun. This is interesting. This is, this is cool. It's a piece of artwork that looks like it's, it's a mixture of Aliens, Predator, Rambo, and the Terminator all put together. And it's called Battle Bros. And it's presented like it's a comic book. So it's like a, a fake comic... Um, oh, sorry for the blur. A fake comic cover battle bros it's even got a fake um sticker of like price sticker on there and you can see like predator you can see aliens you know sylvester stallone-esque rambo and a arnold schwarzenegger-esque terminator um wow okay that's cool that's a really outside of the box type art piece i like it it looks really nice it's really cool it's number 605 out of 2500 so limited it's got its uh, uh, certificate of authenticity in there i like this it's really cool that's really cool i like that once again the art prints in the pins in this box are so awesome i love it. love it looks like maybe there's one other thing oh that's right we were gonna end up with a cell or it looks like maybe it's like two um from some cartoons which is awesome. So I got one from Street Fighter. Special offer for the BAM box. So it is Street Fighter. Very cool. Animation Inc. Archive is what it's from. So there's like a little certificate of authenticity there. Oh, wow. Okay. So if you can see here. So there's the animation cell. And it looks like it's M. Bison from the Street Fighter um, cartoon. I know the Street Fighter cartoon for a little bit. I didn't really watch it. Was a Street Fighter 2 fan when I was young. And then it also has like the very faint sketch behind it. So they did this first, just like the straight up sketch, which looks pretty cool uh, of M. Bison. And then, you know, they color it in, they put it on the actual cell, and it's ready to go. Um, that's cool. I really like stuff like this too. These are the types of things you would really want to get, you know, actually framed and everything like that that is cool it doesn't have like a numbering on it or anything i don't think on here either but that's fine really cool original artwork i like that i like that a lot so then yeah um box is empty i'm gonna throw it down here and i'll just kind of like recap uh right off the bat the uh, next month is going to be the 90s i feel like possibilities are endless with a theme like the 90s could be a lot of awesome stuff because the 90s had a lot of cool kind of nostalgic things that they can go with. So the anniversary one. Uh, whoop. Bandbox is one year old. They're just kind of talking in the beginning about the Bandbox being one year old, whatever. Whew. Okay, so there were some limited edition pins, which we did not get. There were only 250 done of each of them, and it was a special Bandbox one year anniversary pin. I'll show you in a minute. Um, so we could have ended up getting the strange hat pin that I got. Or a one that says zombie on it, and it's like brass knuckles, which is interesting. Um, here you go. You can take a look. See, they have like the limited edition pins down there, and they have those up there. Pretty cool, though. They're all cool. Um, kind of glad I got the strange one, because that one, there's a little more to it. Um... Yeah, so they just kind of reference why they, these are from past boxes, referencing stuff from past boxes, so that's cool. Uh, then we have the, 
art prints. We got the Battle Brothers one, and that's by artist Rocky Davies. And then we also have the, there was another one that was Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo, which I guess was a reference to um, Negan from Walking Dead, I believe, because um, it looks like it has Lucille on there, or Lucy, or whatever he calls it, uh, by artist Chris Uminga. Um, that one looked really cool, too. Um, I'm fine with the one I got. Okay, there's the Chris Uminga one up top. Uh, looks good, but I'm not a huge Walking Dead fan. I'm actually not a Walking Dead fan. And then there's the one Rock, Rocky Davies, which I did get, which you saw. So that's cool. Then we have the custom signed ho hockey mask by Ari Lehman, who's the original Jason Voorhees. Um, and I guess everyone got blood on theirs, but I guess it was random what it looks like. So not everyone it was going to look the, exactly the same. Exactly, as you can see from this picture, the blood pattern looks different than what I got which honestly I like mine better because it looks like a bloody hand was being slid down the face as someone was being killed so this was just like oh happenstance he got blood on him so once again cool um, then animation cells so the animations could have come from the real Ghostbusters Sonic Captain N I even heard of Captain N Street Fighter and more so could have been whatever. So there's just a lot they were pulling from. So there you go, a few other examples of some of the cells, animation cells you could have ended up with. Nice. And then, okay, full-size license plates from Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Knight Rider, and Anchorman 2. So I was right, the plate was from Knight Rider. Okay, yeah, so license plate. I mean, that's kind of cool because it references Knight Rider. That's not my favorite thing, but it's okay. But you can see what some of the other ones were. Like from Ferris Bueller's, it was Nervous, Stay Classy, Staying Classy from Anchorman 2, and then the Knight Rider one, which you saw. And that was it. Uh, and like I said, 90s for February, which will be potentially very awesome. But overall, I like this box. It's a very cool box. Um, I mean, it's, it's just a lot of cool stuff. And then. It speaks once again to what I really love about this. The art, the pin, and then the signed items. The signed items are so so cool. But, oh, sorry, I dropped it. Oops. I'll get that later. <laughs> but anyway, Bambox, thank you for doing this for a whole year. I haven't been with you for the entire year, but for the four months I have been with you, uh, it's been awesome. It's been an amazing ride. And uh, I can't wait to see where this ride takes things because I know that Things are only going to get better, as has been explained by your CEO, Adam. Um, that other people have been reaching out and saying, hey, we want to work with Bambox. And that's exciting. Um, as long as you keep up with the original art prints and the pins, I am in. And then a cool celebrity signature here and there. That's all I need. I'm in. I'm in. So thank you, everyone, so much for checking this out. Once again, thank you, Bambox. You guys rock. And uh, until next time, keep it brutal.